sophistication. I am mesmerized by your beauty. All of you look amazing tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our candidates a big, big round of applause. You look lovely in your evening gowns. Now, friends, it's time to announce the winners of our special minor and corporate awards tonight. And we begin with our corporate awards, starting with Miss Vibrant Personality Award by EFB Geo Construct Incorporated. Miss Vibrant Personality Award will receive a MacBook Air from EFB Geostra Incorporated to be presented by Honorable SB Ines Rosario Amante. And our Miss Vibrant Personality Award by EFB Geo Construct Incorporated is candidate number Zappy's Restaurant and Coffee House Choice Award will receive 5,000 pesos cash and 5,000 worth of gift certificate to be presented by Mariel A. Paulino and Geraldine Cabasa. And our Miss Zappy's Restaurant and Coffee House Choice Award goes to Ambassadors Award. Miss M and JM Hotel Ambassadors will receive 5,000 pesos cash and a gift certificate to be presented by Erika Montaos and Alan Grace Gonzalez. And our Miss M and JM Hotel Ambassadors Award goes to candidate number. And finally, we have Miss Mitsubishi Motors. Miss Mitsubishi Motors will receive 5,000 pesos to be presented by Princess Louise Gibberson and Ivy Time Seno. And our Miss Mitsubishi Motors is candidate number 15, Zoriana Polina. Congratulations, our winners for our corporate awards. We move on with our special awards. Get it with Miss Friendship. Miss Friendship will receive 10,000 pesos sponsored by Miss Maricor Ajero to be presented by Edmar Vincent Sanchez and Honorable Josh A.J. Jose G. And our Miss Friendship is Candidate number, candidate number two.
Congratulations, candidate number two, this year's Miss Friendship. And now we move on with our Miss Photogenic. To present the award for Miss Photogenic, we have Leo Dale Corvetta and our official photographer, Christine Tiamsay. We will be flashing the winner on our screens. And of course, we will reveal our winner as well. And our Miss Photogenic is, congratulations, candidate number 13. Our best in production number to present the award for best in production number. Honorable Judith Queno and Honorable Val Villanueva. And our best in production number is candidate number. Candidate number 12. Number candidate number twelve. Up next, we have our best in swimsuit to present the award for best in swimsuit. We have Honorable Josh AJ Jose Jean and Honorable Jam Jam Corvana. Best in swimsuit is. Candidate number, candidate number 15, Zoriana Palima. Our best in evening gown. To present the award for best in evening gown, we have Honorable Inez Rosario Amante. And our best in evening gown is candidate number, candidate number 11. And we would like to thank our sponsors for your magnanimous support and generosity for Miss Kabadbara 2024, the Ghan Kayong Salamat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our competition is about to get more exciting because from 20, we will be trimming them down to our top five candidates. Now, all of their scores from all categories, namely the opening production number, swimsuit, gown, and closed door interview will now be accumulated, and the highest five candidates will be declared our top five candidates. Now, our top five will be judged according to beauty 50%, 
and Brains, which is our final Q&A. 50% for a total of 100%. Kapanmaran City, andam namamo! Now before we announce our top five ladies and gentlemen, first up, let's give our phenomenal candidates a big, big round of applause. All you ladies did amazing, an amazing job to this evening. Congratulations and good luck to all of you. Good luck. Our top five in no particular order. Congratulations, you are part of the top five. Candidate number, candidate number 11. City in the National Arena. Friends, let's give them a big, big round of applause as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the competition is not yet over. For sure, each of our finalists have shown remarkable talent, grace, and charisma, and I bet all of our judges are thrilled at the same time having a hard time here tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's how our final Q&A will go. Our finalists will be picking a name of a judge, and that judge will ask her her final question for tonight. Now, ladies, take note. All of you have 45 seconds to deliver your answer. So good luck to all of you. Here we go. Let's begin our final Q&A with our first finalist for tonight, candidate number 11. Candidate 11, congratulations. Please join me here in front. How are you feeling being the first candidate called to be part of our top five? I'm so thankful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to my tita, my family, the Becha family. Thank you so much. I made it. You have made it. I love it. And all of them are truly proud of you right now. Are you ready to pick a judge? Yes. Here we go. Kelly, pick one. Ladies, we have 45 seconds once again. And if you hear this sound, that means your time is up. Candidate number 11, your judge is Mayor Karen Rosales. Hello, candidate number 11. For you, I will read the question twice. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. If given the opportunity 
to meet any historical figure, who would you choose and what inspires you about their lives and contributions? Again, if given the opportunity to meet any historical figure, who would you choose and what inspires you about their life and contribution? If given the opportunity, I would choose Mother Teresa. Her selfless dedication to serving the poorest and most vulnerable inspires me deeply. As she demonstrated a proper compassion and unwavering faith, her life and her contribution reminds us the power of love, humility, and serving in making the difference in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Candidate number 11. We move on with candidate number 18. supporters here tonight. They're shouting so loud and so proud for you. What is your message for all of them? You know what, Sir OJ? Actually, last year I was one of the people in the crowd cheering for the candidates. And right now, right here, I am living my dream. So to everyone who has been there through this journey, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. Thank you very much, candidate number 18. I love it. You showed support to the candidate last year, you know, wishing for her to win. Now it's your turn to win. Hopefully the stars align for you tonight. Candidate number 18, are you ready? I was born to be ready. Born ready, I love it. Can I get to the judge? And your judge is? Mr. Michael Agassi. Uh, my question is, how would you promote Kabadbaran City to a global audience? So I will repeat again. How would you promote Kabadbaran City to a global audience? To promote Kabadbaran City globally, we need to embrace digital marketing through social media platforms, showing engaging photos that will showcase the beauty of our city and its uniqueness participating in the local government's tour Ag <laughs> tour agusanon initiative will allow us to create will allow us to create a virtual tour showcasing our beautiful Kabadbaran, especially our Dagkot Festival. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number 18. We move on with candidate number 9. Hello, candidate number 9. Congratulations on making it to the top 5. How are you feeling tonight? I'm good. I am very happy that uh, there are a lot of people who supported me. Thank you so much. Of course, congratulations. Spot well deserved. Candidate number nine, are you ready? Yes, I am. Here we go. Kindly pick one name of a judge. And your judge is attorney Harriet Golda Reserva. Good evening, candidate number nine. My question is, as a role model for young women, how would you inspire them in overcoming societal challenges in order for them to pursue their dreams? Again, as a, ro as a role model for young women, how would you inspire them in overcoming social societal challenges in order for them to pursue their dreams? Thank you so much, Attorney. Well, um, as a role model of young women, I would inspire and support them by showing that their dreams are valid and achievable. I would encourage them to be fearless in the face of societal challenges, to break barriers and to never settle for less. Together, we can conquer 
the world and pave the way for the future where our dreams are within reach. Stand tall, young women, for the world is yours to conquer. Be fearless, be bold, and be authentic. Thank you so much. Be bold, be fearless, and be authentic. An authentic movement right there. Thank you very much. Candidate number nine. Two ladies left, and we move on with candidate number 15. Please join me here in front. Candidate number 15, congratulations. And of course, you, have, you are bringing home a lot of minor corporate and special awards tonight. How do you feel about that? I feel really great. Thank you so much for the sponsors that would fit to me. And of course, how, how did you bear, prepare for tonight's competition? All of us, all of the girls prepared so much and it is really not, it was really a hard struggle for us so we cannot really judge um, everyone who is here. Especially, we know that there are hardships that we've gone through. Yeah. Of course, your efforts and hard work is truly paying off for you here tonight. One final challenge separating you from the crowd. Are you ready? Can we make a name of a judge? Your judge is Attorney Rodello Martin de Maulao. Good evening, candidate number 15. Uh, my question is uh, divorce is often viewed a last resort for couples facing irreconcilable differences. Do you believe this legislation aligns with modern Filipinos' rights to personal freedom and happiness? Uh, again, I repeat the question. Divorce is often viewed as a last resort for couples facing irreconcilable differences. Do you believe that this legislation aligns with modern Filipinos' rights to personal freedom and happiness? Yes, I do believe that divorce legislation aligns with modern rights to personal freedom and happiness. While marriage is a sacred commitment, there are circumstances that staying together is not the best interest um, of either, con if either party. Legalizing divorce does not mean um, every married couple should divorce. There are, um, there are abuse, and there are um, people who have happy marriage, sweet and loving family, should not decide for those who are abused, oppressed, and who are experiencing violence. Legalizing divorce. Thank you. Thank you very much. Candidate number 15. The last but not least, candidate number 14. Please join me here. Do you think it's a, an advantage to be the last finalist call? I don't think so because we prepared, everyone prepared for this and the questions are really answerable and I think I believe in the capabilities for the girls so that's my opinion. Alright, with that are you ready for your final question tonight? Yes, I am. Here we go, kindly pick. I believe the last judge. None other than Miss Sheila D. Chu. Hello, candidate number 14. Um, here's your question. As you envision your future, what aspect of your youth do you think you will miss the most? And why does it hold such significance for you? I repeat the question. As you envision your future, what aspect of your youth do you think you will miss the most? And why does it hold such significance to you? Really? What aspect I will miss the most as the youth is the sense of limitless opportunities and boundless optimism. Because it shaped my vision, my passion, which is the inclusive education for the indigenous people community especially. And I aim to break down barriers. These moments we share hone me who I am today, what I stand as a lady here, standing courage as a confident woman. So these limitless opportunities help me 
envision what I am today and for tomorrow to create a more harmonious society to all Filipinos. Thank you. Thank you very much. Candidate number 14 for that beautiful answer. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We just went. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm